It's crazy to me that somebody watching this video could have been watching my videos back in like 2012. You were a child then. You might have a child now. So yesterday, after being gone for a little over two years, I randomly put up a video being like, hello, I'm making a short film, will you please help me? And to be blunt, I do need your help in order for it to actually exist. I'm trying to force this short film into existence and without you, it will not happen. So if you didn't see that video, I'm making a Kickstarter. The link to it is in the description if you want to be involved. But since it's been a couple of years, I figured I should probably update you, answer some of your burning questions, as long as your questions are what's Jack Howard been doing or what happened to Jack and Dean? Little thumbnail. What happened to Jack and Dean? So the last thing I put on my YouTube channel in 2022 was a micro short film called The Pickup. Won a little comedy award for that, actually. This is called a Kinsale Shark Award. Look, it's actually a shark. How many awards are shaped like sharks? Then in December, I directed a Christmas music video for the lovely Maisie Peters. It's very cute, very warm and fuzzy. I cast Miles Wheeler, It's a Me Milio as the main character, and I put a bunch of my mates in there. It was very fun. Then in 2023, I directed a few episodes of a CBBC show called Andy and the Band. The tone of it is very Jack and Dean, but without any of the sort of adult themes. It must be the villain's secret hideout. Whoa. How did you know? I read the sign. Like a live action cartoon. I was really looking forward to it, but I'll be honest, it was kind of rough for me making that show. I'm not going to go into all the details because I think that's probably unprofessional. I'm really happy with the episodes I got to direct. I love working with the cast. It's just... <sighs> Some of the vibes were off. That's all I'll say. Ooh, drama. I also, I did give myself a cameo, doing my best impression of Troy McClure from The Simpsons. And did you see Challenges this year? I loved it. One of the best films of the year, for sure. But I did the point of view of a tennis ball shot before Luca Guadagnino. So yeah, he ripped me off. And mine even goes into someone's bomb. Because comedy. Then this year, randomly, I've been directing some content for James Blunt. Who are you again? James fucking Blunt. I genuinely love working with him. He's just great. Because sometimes when you're working with like high profile talent, when you're trying to explain to them your idea, especially if it's a joke, you're trying to be like, this is why this is funny. They give you this look like, what the f who the fuck is this guy? What's he talking about? But James doesn't do that. I genuinely feel like he like trusts me. He, he probably doesn't. I just feel like he does. I've just made a few more things with him, actually. They'll be coming out over the next few weeks. Then earlier this year, I got to make this big commercial, which was essentially a parody of Knives Out, with a bit of succession thrown in there. The goal with it was to hopefully trick an audience into thinking that they were watching a trailer for a new show or something before they realised it's an advert for a fridge. All of the actors are amazing in it. My DP, Kieran, shot the shit out of it. The whole joke wouldn't have worked if it didn't look like it actually belonged. Like, it looks like Knives Out. It can't look like a parody, and it doesn't. It looks like the real deal. And then we won at Cannes. Genuinely. We, we won what's called a Cannes Lion, which is the commercial part of the Cannes Film Festival. So technically, I am a Cannes Award-winning filmmaker. But one of the major things that I've learned over the last couple of years doing projects like this is that a lot of directing isn't directing, or at least not what you think of when you think of directing. Something that was very new for me was making pitch documents, pitch decks. And for those of you that don't know what they are, they're essentially like presentations that take the client all the way through your idea. And I'll be honest, at the start, I really resented making these. I was like, this is not what directing is. Like, this is a different job entirely. But it, I think it's because it reminded me of schoolwork. It made me think about being at university when we had to make a presentation to explain your work. And I was like, we're never gonna have to do this in the real world. When you're doing that, you're pitching against other people. You're competing for the job. So one of the things I've started to do to differentiate myself is I do this. I make pitch videos. I actually made one when I was pitching for the Maisie Peters music video. And you'll never guess what swayed the commissioner. Seriously, you'll, you'll never guess it. It wasn't my idea. It wasn't the concept. It wasn't my passion. It was because I had some Homer Simpson artwork in the background and the commissioner's a big fan of the Simpsons. So you never know what it's going to be that, that makes people want to work with you. It's so funny. But it's been a slow, weird year. I think anyone who does work in the creative industry knows it's been strange. I still want to be in the commercial world and I want to hopefully get into directing like bigger scale TV projects. But at the moment, I kind of miss making stuff for myself. When you're making stuff for other people, there's a lot of layers that it has to go through. A lot of approvals, a lot of people with their own ideas and you have to listen to them. So that's why I'm making this short film. And also, what happened to Jack and Dean? Okay, so let's let's just start at the beginning uh, uh, just a little bit. Dean and I met when we were in school. We were about 15 years old. YouTube was a baby. We were babies. No one knew that it could be a job. And then before we knew it, when we were making stuff, it was a job. We never discussed what it was we wanted to do. Just opportunities kept coming up and we just kept saying yes and rolling with it. We'd essentially signed up for a professional marriage when we were teenagers. And what happens to most marriages? 
that's right a pandemic stops them from being together and then you can't really make stuff anymore had the pandemic not happened i mean this isn't the top of the list for things that could have happened were the pandemic not a thing but i genuinely believe that me and dean would have continued making stuff but i'm kind of glad that it has happened this way not the pandemic in general but i'm glad we were able to have a break because i think we needed one and it's been nice to actually hang out with each other and not have work on the brain or think about what the next project's going to be we've just been able to be mates again but now as 30 year old men like, everything before was linking back to who we were when we were teenagers and that's not the case anymore and as i've been making more and more stuff without dean i've also realized that he's genuinely the only person who i have this kind of spark with so recently we've been flirting with the idea of making stuff again mostly for ourselves we've been writing again we've currently got about six scripts that we're developing so when this short film is in the can that is the next thing i'm going to focus on the return of jack and dean there you go let's see if anyone gives a shit about that and again i just want to say i'm making a short film it's called the second time around and it needs your support in order to exist so if you'd like to know more about it the kickstarter is the first link in the description there's a video there you can check out there's all the perks you can see i've tried to keep the perks quite personal because if you're going to support me with your hard-earned money like give me money for an idea i've had i want to give back by offering you my time and you can use that however you wish within reason Please check it out and consider donating if you can. Thank you for watching. I'll be back sooner than you think. And I hope you have a very good whatever day you're watching this on.